The Terra crash is not risk to broader crypto ecosystem, says Hobby General co-founder. Um, and really, 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 really important news. Smash that like button. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, and right now, what we are seeing is lots and lots of news. Uh, we're seeing so much going on right now that it's absolutely insane, guys. But what will happen next? What will happen next? Will this Terra crash keep crashing harder? John Du, co-founder of Hobie Global, told Coin Cover that the Terra crash will slow down investor enthusiasm in the short term, but in the long run, the demand will recover. So in the short term, Terra has been hit hard. Uh, as fall of Terra to Luna USDT may have a noticeable short-term impact on the decision of both making retail and institutional investors, it doesn't pose a risk to largest crypto ecosystem, according to John Du, co-founder of Hobie Global. Interview with Cointelegraph, Du explained the collapse of Terra will affect the ecosystem by slowing down interest in crypto as an asset class. Verdu noted that this will be only short-term effect. In the long term, the exchange co-founder explained the crypto like Bitcoin's demand as a hedge against fiat inflation will grow along with advent of new applications for blockchain. In the long term, demand for cryptocurrencies as a hedge against inflation will continue to grow as well applications of blockchain technology. When asked about critics who are using Terra Collapse as an opportunity to take in the dig at the entire crypto market, do highlight crashes like Terra happen in many other industries. Uh, we saw this with Lehman Brothers collapse in the housing market crash. You know, Terra is one of the biggest crashes in history because it also affected the other market. And you know, a crypto coin is bad when it crashes other coins as well. When it crashes the two biggest tokens, you know, it's bad. It, it's just, just imagine 17 billion evaporating or well, not evaporating, but exchanging hands. He further explained that the long-term endurance of an industry always depends on demand for its services. Crypto technology and asset class introduces value innovation that are unique and replaceable. And we believe that one bad apple in the short run will not affect long-term demand. Of course, long-term crypto is still going to be okay. But how long is this long-term going to last? Is it going to be five years? Is it going to be three years? Is it going to be two months? Do is also optimistic and believes that when the price of Bitcoin recovers, confidence of market will return. It will read more investments coming to space. There are flaws exposed by the Terra crash. The takeaway is that the future stablecoins should be packed by less volatile tokens. Uh, lastly, the Hobie Global co-founder said in summary that decentralized stablecoins are vital to the development of the entire cryptocurrency ecosystem. So we should not forget uh, stablecoins as something, you know, to just say bye-bye, we don't need it. He shared the community can turn this loss into a win by innovating so tragic incidents like the Terra crash do not repeat. And it crashed, it crumbled. But, you know, Hobie jo Global co-founder says this is not going to affect crypto long term. Um, and maybe even Terra will recover to a nice point. So there's always a, you know, green side to the story. Uh, as their, their proverb grows, if you, uh, if it rains, there's always going to be sun at the end. There's always sun after the rain, and that's what's really important to a lot of holders, to see the sun, to see the sun shining on on te on UST, to see the sun shining on Luna. But a lot of people here, you know, Terra right now is hiding, and it needs to pull out its aces. Um, right now, it crashed, and it crashed half the market. Um, this is one of the worst crashes we have seen since 2020, uh, even 2018 or so. And we are probably seeing a crypto history. And if you want to keep up with the crypto history, if you want to know and be part of it, be sure to smash that like button. I'll keep you guys updated with more news. And I'll I'll, I'll, I'll give you some news for free. That's what I do. Um, provide news to you guys because I love talking about Terra. I love talking about Shiba. Um, and it's really important in the long term to know what how this will affect. I think this could potentially be written down in history books just like Mount Gox. But who knows? Only time will tell. The collapse of Terra will affect the ecosystem by slowing down investors' interest in crypto as an asset class. Um, people lost houses on this. And it's very important to know that algorithmic stablecoins are a great thing only if they're backed by something real, says the Hobie uh, Global co-founder. So definitely smash that like button. I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Peace, everyone.